Oh, get back here. <laughs> Soft plastics are your most versatile lure out there. And today we're going to talk about how to rig them. What is the proper size jig head? for each size soft plastic and the weedless swim bait hooks. It's gonna depend on the body size of the lure and there's a lot of things that go into, uh, into account for which one is the correct size. You don't really need to go out and buy the whole tackle store. There's, there's a couple of, of lures that work consistently and a couple of sizes. And if you just get a couple of those sizes and you match it with the right jig head or the right weedless swim bait hook, you'll get good hook sets. It's important to match the right hook with the right lure. So we'll walk you through everything that I do when I go to the tackle store. And, uh, you know, I pick up a, a package of soft plastics. Maybe it's a new, you know, new brand I want to check out. And then I take it over to the, the jig head and the weedless swim bait hook section and i compare it i got the package you know the package of the the lures and then i grab a weedless swim bait hook or jig head and and i just put that hook close to the lure through the package and i just see you know is is it going to be a good fit of course i've uh i've bought a whole lot of this stuff and I kind of already know now, but I'm gonna walk you through how to see what is the correct size hook for the lure. If I'm fishing 12 inches of water or less, so if I'm fishing really shallow, I wanna throw the smallest thing that I can for redfish because they are finicky and spooky in really shallow. Once I get out, you know, 18 inches of water, two foot and even deeper, I don't have to worry so much about throwing such a small tiny lure. I'm now concerned about covering water. So I'm gonna upsize my lure because they're not as spooky in deeper water and they are more willing to hit a bigger lure in deeper water. In my experiences anyways, there are definitely some times when, when I've caught redfish in real shallow with a big four or five inch paddle tail, but there has been tons of days when i had to downsize and it works when i'm fishing real shallow so <clears throat> so now today what i do now that i've done it over and over and over again successfully i start off with a real small lure if i'm going to fish real shallow so i quit wasting time with those big lures that i know usually spooks them in shallow so i go right to the little tiny lures and then if i'm gonna fish deeper then I go straight to a four inch. You eventually get to the point where you just you just kind of know and you'll quit trying, you know, everything in your tackle box. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set up and how to find the right hook for these lures. So one thing about the jig heads, they, every single one that I have here, all kinds of different brands, Z-Man and H&H, &H, Redfish Magic. Uh, so the jig heads, they don't tell you the hook size they just say quarter ounce or one eighth ounce so you have to actually find one and look at the package and see if it will match you know the the lure that you're trying to pair it with so they don't say one aught and they don't say two aught you know like the weedless swim bait hooks do the weedless swim, swim bait hooks do have the weight size and the hook size but they make it a little bit more difficult on the uh, jig heads, at least the ones that I've uh, that I have and that I use. So, so talking about really tiny lures, the Gulp Swimming Mullet in a four inch, which is a really small lure. It measures two and a half from the tail to the nose, and if you stretch it out like that, maybe it's a four inch if you stretch it pretty good. But this is a two and a half inch lure very good for sight casting redfish if i'm going to put it on a jig head i'm going to find one of the smallest jig heads that they have in a 1 8 or a 1 16 ounce if we're fishing really shallow and you want that jig head <laughs> to uh sorry my freaking cat go away leo we're busy right now <laughs> so you want that 
hook to come out somewhere hopefully in the middle of the body of the lure and to rig it so this one's pretty close this one this one will definitely work for this you're going to aim straight for the middle of the lure of the nose and keep it in the middle the whole way bend it around where that nose is about right there it's starting to come towards this bend of the hook and then come on out of the body and then continue pushing it all the way on there and that to me is a pretty dang perfect jig head for that lure so these are also 1 8 ounce and these have the little corkscrew on them and the and you can thread thread it through there and it'll keep that soft plastic on there really good i they kind of for me take they just take too much time and they're not really worth the extra effort because they do stay on a jig head like this pretty good so but this one is going to be probably a little bit too long it's actually not bad if you if you match it like that it's going towards the tail you know it would definitely work but i would rather that other one you can spin the soft plastic onto that corkscrew and that's actually a pretty good that actually would work too it's just a little bit longer than the other one but that would work and then that corkscrew it'll it'll hold that plastic on there pretty good but then every time you got to change it you got to unscrew it and when you're right there next to fish <laughs> that you that you can see for me i try to do things as fast as possible so so that one worked for it too but if we took an over exaggerated so i can show you this z-man's a big hook it's made for <clears throat> your five inch saw plastics it'll work on the four inch too but the difference between that first one that I showed you is quite a is quite a bit so this one would be too too big for this little bitty lure there's no way you can if I thread it all the way dang near to the tail and come out right by the tail and then by the time you push it on there it's just too big to me and you have a whole lot of hook exposed so you want you don't want that much hook exposed on it so the other ones that i showed y'all is a right match so you want to be able to probably put your pinky you want to be able to have some gap in between the hook and the lure but you don't want a real big gap so that's on the gulp and then we have <clears throat> it's going to be the same scenario with your three inch saw plastics like your burner shad down south uh your chicken boy shrimp that's three inches it's all going to be the same i choose uh the killer jigs because they make they make some some sizes that other people don't make such as this one a one aught of course we got a good tangle going on there we'll grab one that's not tangled up so this is a 1 8 ounce and a 1 aught size and they also work good for the gulp and the 3 inch but they're just a little big still but i don't i haven't found anything else that works but it does this does work so you can see the gulp is already I've already kind of torn it up. They're a soft, they're a, they're a brittle soft plastic, but they catch fish. They're one of my favorites for sight casting. So you screw it on there and then you put your finger where that hook is and that's where you have to go through. So you have to bend it, bend the lure, and you have to actually go in the tail section a little bit. But this is, this works for me pretty good. I use this all, this setup all the time. And that's your weedless swim bait hook set up for the smaller lures it's going to be the same for the burner shad and the three inch chicken boy and even <clears throat> some of the h and h grubs and stuff like that so so now we'll uh we'll go to a little bit bigger lure before we get to that i want to show you one other thing 
the body of the lures is going to make a big difference. So here's another chicken boy lure. And if you notice how wide the body is compared to, let's just say, the shrimp. So that shrimp's a lot more narrow, the body. So the narrow bodies, you're going to use the smaller hooks, such as the one knot. But when you go to a thicker body like this, it's harder to find weedless swim bait hooks that work perfect for it. And I'm going to show you the important part, the very, very important part of a weedless swim bait hook that you need to take into consideration. It's still too small for it. So you would have to actually put that hook in in the tail still, or the broken section. <laughs> It has these little sections, these little divots. It's, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna go in there. So, th so these I don't use. I bought them. Uh, they would be good for a jig head. So you get you a jig head, definitely make it work. But the weedless swim bait hooks for me don't work all that great. Yeah, let me go in a little bit further they don't work for the thicker body lures as as well if it's a short stubby thing like this is so these are some cool looking lures but i don't use them because i'm mostly fish weedless except as we're getting into winter i will be using jig heads so this will be a good lure in the winter for, for me the way i fish so a jig head will work on these but the weedless swim bait hook won't because if you go through the body of the lure with that hook, you, you don't have any gap in between the hook and the lure. It's too, it'll be too thick of a lure. Let me try to show you on a, on a different one so you can see what I'm talking about. So let me show you with an AM lure. So this is the one knot weedless swim bait hook on a four, it's probably going to be a four inch lure, four to five inch. So we'll mark our finger, we'll bend it around, push it through. So that lure is going to be weedless for the most part. You know, you catch a little bit of grass, but like that. But the amount of gap that is between the, the belly of the lure and the hook is not very much gap. You need a wider gap for a lure this size. So the one knot is too small for that lure and the hook sets will definitely be less. You'll, you'll lose a lot of fish. So we'll go with a, the uh, four knot, which is a wider gap hook, which, which would be made for this lure or lures like it. So, so that's the right hook for that lure because you have more of a gap between the belly of the lure and the hook. So whenever that fish bites it, it has some play. That lure can bend down towards the hook and you'll get, and you'll get a hook set. So, so your jig head for this lure for a four or five inch will be the bigger, longer hooks. You have to thread it down pretty far on this one. It's got a long shank. And that's gonna be a pretty good jig head for that, for that particular lure, or for that size lure. It doesn't really matter about brand, it matters about the size of the body of the lure. So the four inch gulp swimming mullet which is actually about a two and a half inch lure. The uh, Chicken Boy three inch shrimp, the Down South Burner Shad three inch, or any of the lures that have a real small body. <clears throat> You're gonna use a one aught weedless swim bait hook. A one eighth ounce is really all you need. I don't really go much heavier than that most of the time. So uh, the jig heads for them will be the any of the shorter jig heads.
because they don't really have a, a aught size. So this is your big, your big long one, and then this is the shorter one. So you go to the tackle store and you pick up the bag of lures and you get your your uh, well your bag of jig heads and you just have to kind of look at the the lure and stick the jig head by it and see be the right size length for the body of the lure so the body of the lure is what's going to be important so on the gulp your body is right there behind the chartreuse area and you find a hook that will come out in the body if it comes out in the body then you're good if it goes all the way to the tail it's a little bit too big for that lure uh your bigger um we got some what is this four inch yeah four inch chicken boy shrimp your four aught and your five aught weedless swim bait hooks will be a good match for that and then uh any of your four inch and five inch soft plastics. Uh, sometimes I use the three aught. It depends on the body. So just try to match them up. I hope that some of these things helps. You know, I've, I've been getting questions about this all the time. What size hook and what size. It's going to depend on which lure you use. And it depends on the body that that lure has. So, so for most lures... If it's three inches and less, usually a one knot will work on the weedless swim bait hook. Uh, the four inch soft plastics, you're going to use about a three to between a three and a four knot. And your five inch, you're going to use a five knot. So hopefully that helps out. It's one of those things you just have to kind of look at the lure and look at the hook and kind of see, you know, so. I hope the tips were helpful. Thanks for watching and tight lines, y'all.